Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Azan Adiola. On today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a party flyer. This party flyer, I've not done it before. This is my first time. I just want to try something out and show you practical ways of creating an amazing mind blowing flyer. So let's just jump straight into it as we get started. But before we go, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Azan Adiola Photoshop Tutorials. So we just jump straight into it. These are background 1600 by 1600. So we're going to look for our protocol we're Going to look for our stock images. Our stock image that we're going to be using. I'm going to be showing you guys. So this is the lady we are going to be using for this tutorial. I use this lady for one of my for one of my flyer before sometimes 2020. Or there about so i decided to use her again this time she looks great so she's a model so we are going to be using her for this so i'll just drag her here then i'll expand this yeah i'm thinking that i don't need to remove the background because i'll be using a background similar like this so what i'll do now is First thing you want to look at is you want to retouch your image. You want it to pop. You want it to stand out. So I'll just quickly go to my topaz details. This is a practical tutorial. Some people say I don't. I just pick my designs from place to place, and I don't really teach them how to go about it. So I'm trying to do something very practical here. Though it may take time, but it's what doing. Yeah. So, but seriously, this is how it works. So, I just pray you guys understand better. So, I add my bold details to make it pop. I don't need to increase this because I don't want it to be over. I don't want it to over pop. Yeah. So, the effect is there. So, I'll add my Nick collection to it. I may likely smudge it a little bit. That is if I like. But if I don't like, it's still good to go without the smudge. So I'll just click OK. Later, then I'll go to structure and I'll increase it like so. Like 60 should be okay. I don't want it to be too much. Or let's say 50 there about. Yo, something like this is okay. So then we'll just add our to pass the noise five. So if you want the plugin, as I say, just drop in the comment section that I need the plugin. Then definitely I'll get back to you and you get it free of charge. So I'll choose strongest. Then I'll increase the strength like around 60. Then I'll drag my slider down. I just color, remove the red, the minus red. The I just color red. I'll remove it to zero zero. They are just color blue, put it back to zero zero. I don't want the color to affect it because there's a color shift when you apply that stronger. So you just put the colors at zero for perfect to maintain your original color. So I'll just click OK. Then wait for it to load. My system is kind of fast today and I'm liking that. So if you like what I'm doing, just hit the like button. If you are a new comer, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell and make that sound bam that's what's up so we are going quickly the next thing we are going to be doing is to add our vi vibrance as usual to our image or to the overall design so to say so just add this put it at 100 yeah see the thing is coming alive it's giving it a very beautiful color so that's great so the next thing i want to do now is create a solid color a solid blue color probably there's many ways you can do this we can probably select from here or here close to something here or come back to this place we just need something that complements the original color on this image if you understand what i'm saying so maybe i'll just there's a color palette i have already copied so let me just paste that one and see how it looks my system is misbehaving now slowing down so we just have to be patient 
control view to place yeah i guess i like this so it's almost dark so but it's okay that way so what i want to do now is i'll just go to my image and create a layer max for it yeah then once i create that layer max pick my brush up increase the size increase the size like so so i want to clean this part out i want to fade it out so i'll just make sure this is set at black and i'm painting on the layer max as usual so i'll just start cleaning my system it's taking time to pop up i don't know what's happening so we just wait for it to turn up yeah so it's back so we just clean and clean and clean just wait for it to reflect stem is just nagging nagging lagging is it nagging or lagging yeah women lag women nag system lag so so this this is okay so we'll clean it a little bit but I want it to fade like fading we don't want it to look fake so we'll clean here clean here so we'll just clean here we're not changing the background we're just cleaning some of the backgrounds out so something like this is looking great for me so after getting something like this what i want to do is duplicate this uh, image this stuff i'm doing i don't have it in my head before like i just said that okay i love this image let me do something with it okay it looks okay let's use it as a fly as a what they call it as a party stuff because of the way the image look like so that that's just the idea behind it apart from that nothing like nothing so i'm just trying to come up with something so we'll restorize this and just ctrl t to probably drag this i just want it to be dragged out so once i drag this out a little bit i'll take it back again inside and double click so just wait for it to transform so i'll go back like this again and i will oh, select my rectangular marker to select this portion and oh ctrl t so once i hold ctrl t i hold my shift and drag this like so so i'll just drag home oh, and drag it like so so once it's like this So I hold my brush and paint on it. You know my brush I've reduced it, so I will increase it back to 100. Then brush this part off. So I I can reduce it now to make this place look more real. So I'll just do something like this. So now you can see what we were doing you can see what we are saying so it's looking good for me looking perfectly well for me like this so i can go to my image again and probably reduce the opacity to 27 then clean this portion of our hair i'm seeing some light colors there which i don't like so i'll just clean this part yeah our chest yeah so i guess we are good to go so next thing i want to do is after getting your image like a little bit of your background is looking good the next thing you want to do is you work on your text and what's going to be the title of this flyer i want to title it the all queen hmm? should we do the all queen party or the queen's party night or queen party anything so let's just know what you feel if you know what you feel like if you are cool with the title let me know in the comment section all queen party or party queen party whatever i'm not a rapper though so 
let's just continue so i'm just going to start typing so what i want to do is so i'm just waiting for my text everything is just lagging 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 so we just wait for it yeah okay it's not yet clicked already so so i'm going to type the queen's party night yeah the queen's the queen's So I want to write this separate, please. You know, I say I don't know what I'm doing, so I just want to write everything separate, so I can it can be flexible for me. They advise you to do the same always. Always write your text separately. I say your titles, the queens. So it's going to be an iPhone. Yeah, the queens. It's just one queen. The queens. So it's a party. So that I will put. We add that S to it. The Queen's Party. So, that is what's up. The Queen's Party. So, we we'll just drag everything close to each other. So, once it's close to each other, we put the party also close. Then, what we we'll do next is highlight all and decrease them. The once we increase them, so we just reduce the gap minus 50. Then we we'll leave it like this. So we we'll increase this. We we'll increase. We we'll bring this down also. We we'll increase this also. So. So we. We'll take this day up then we increase the queens like so then after then the party our party can still maintain this size and the queens can still D can still maintain this size so we just drag them like so and drop like this so what do we want to do next we want to just create like a shape that we can now add our text to maybe some little information we can put it down there so just add that so let's just use white for now we are going to change all those colors so once we do this the queen's party so we are going to be looking at the fonts we are going to be using for this so let's see if we can change the party font so wait for this to load so we'll drag up so let's see if Acura expanded can work for that yeah I feel I like that so what I'll do is to reduce the sizes of the boat so I'll just click OK then go back to D and drag it up a little bit then your party should come to this side a little bit we'll send do alignments later so the Queen's party so we can decide that okay we want to add ninth to it So I to add nine to it. So our ninth, we are not going to use any of those fonts. Yes, maybe we can use something like this. 
so we just put our spacing at zero i will increase it like so i'll put it somewhere here so i was not thinking that probably sure we could leave it that way i don't know but let me know what you feel in the comment section so there's a font i want to use i use it most of the time but i can't really remember the name so let me just look for it so let me just look for it if i can see it's good but if i can't we'll just move on it's not something special like that so that's the disadvantage of having so many fonts you don't really need many fonts you just need the right type of font you understand let me see it's not this it's not this I don't think it's that far. Let me check again. Yeah, I'm still looking for the font. Okay, is here already? Yeah, I can. This is the front I was looking for. So I'll just reduce the size. Yeah, something like this. Well, I'm not okay with this Akira anymore. So, let me see my most my popular font so I'll just reduce this and increase the spacing reduce it and change this to like I'm spreading this design so let me just go back a lot of strength so just go back i want this to be fast i don't want to get confused with font so just tell me what you feel which of the fonts you think is best maybe this or the other one whichever one is good let me know so once we do this then we are going to add our text effects so as to get something so i'm going to be using this king and queen text effect yeah if you want to just join my whatsapp group i'll send a link it's on other of my videos so you can check other of, of my videos and you see that the video i did i i did a tutorial on the text effect there's a video i did a tutorial on it that i dropped this text effect so you can quickly check the video to pop up so just click on it and and download the text effects right there so this is the queen's color so i'll just copy this copy this copy this layer style and once i copy it i'll come to the queens and just paste this like so so i'll minimize that and change this to bold i need it to be bold yes and i may close it more so i'll increase the size to see then i'll go to the effect and double click just make some adjustment be free to make an adjustment to whatever you are doing you don't need to be rigid on yourself so i'll just make some little adjustment like probably the stroke so i will reduce the stroke it's too much for me so i'll reduce the stroke I guess that's all I want to do. I don't want to touch the pattern. The pattern is perfect for me. Uh, let's see. 
okay this is good so i just press ok so what i want to do is now I copy this layer style and clear it from here i want this layer style to reflect in all this top apart from the queen apart from the knight so i'll select the queen's party and ctrl g then i'll paste it like so so it's reflecting in all so we may even decide to okay no we don't want the queen queens to have that color we'll bring the queen outside then we'll use the gold parts we use the gold that is the king color for it copy layer style i will paste it on the coins so i'll remove the drop down shadow and i will i'll work on the stroke again reduce it I adjust the pattern yeah something like this is okay so what I want to do is the Queen's party ninth so what I'm going to use for this ninth we don't need to use so I just look for what looks good or probably you can steam paste this and see maybe it will work out let me copy the stuff i use on this then paste it yeah yeah something like this is okay yeah perfect it's okay so the queen's party ninth so what we'll do now is we'll change this to we'll curve it a little bit or we should leave it whichever one which one do you think let me know in the comment section yeah so let's change this to red yeah it's kind of this kind of red so let's change the blending mode so like this this is okay let's reduce it like this yeah so what i want to write there is the venue and probably I will carry my venue icon as my venue icon. So I'll go to my BG and pick my location icon. So I'll press L to locate my. Yeah. So we are going to all location. Okay, yeah. So we'll just pick one of these and just drag here, and we'll reduce the size. Reduce the size and enter. Then put it like so. Now we'll just paste that our gold on it. Yeah reduce it again so I'll, I'll, I'll drop shadow on it okay we done it date is too harsh so i'll just leave it like so so what i want to do next is to now put my address so i'll just write abuja okay I shouldn't start like that. Face. Let me write. What should I? Which address should I have? Okay, let me write this address. David Mark Street. Apo. Comma. Abuja. This area is in, is in Nigeria. Federal based in the federal capital, so I'll just drag this 
after dragging it i'll just change the font i'm definitely going to use mon silhouette you know already so i'll reduce the size increase it a little bit so turn into capture letter then add black reduce the spacing so once i'm good with that then i will go close and add now go there and add what should i add again like phone number that they can call tell so i'll just click plus two three four this is my phone number just in case you want me to work for you or you have any question to ask you can only message this number please do not call three five one zero zero so i'll just press enter then yeah i'll just leave it like so i don't want this to be too visible so i'll use a lighter version of monterey and just add a little bit of boldness and let the spacing be then it's okay like this so so what i want to do now is one or two things to add we'll just add our dates so i'll use my circle here and probably put my dates somewhere here, i guess somewhere it should be okay let's censor the back so I will put a circle like this. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. So what color should I use? Red? No. Yellow? Yes. So I always use yellow. Probably I can go for a gradient if I wish. Which I think I don't need yeah so i'll go to my text and type what's the date so i'll just type 20th i don't need to put the 20th so i'll just type 20 and come here change this to black change the color to black also and reduce the spacing then increase the number so 20th 20th of what 20th of september so we don't need to write this september in full so write this like so then we'll reduce we'll reduce turn it to regular and we we'll add T to it and reduce the size so reduce the size like so so the next one to write is 2022 yeah So I'll increase the sept a little bit. Probably add a little bit of boldness to it. Medium. So this will pick a red color. So I'll merge these three. I like them and just shift them somewhere here. Probably reduce all. So something like this. You can add other effects to that circle. You understand? 
but it's all good so what we want to do quickly is to add our smoke smoke effect so I'll add smoke of the smoke that is already in the listing so I will change the blending mode of the smoke so that it blends with the blue So I guess this is looking good. Duplicate it, yeah, something like this. So I'll duplicate again and come here and increase it. Yeah. yeah so we'll just double click on it so we'll just create one that is somehow more visible we'll use normal then we'll reduce the opacity yeah stuff like this and bring it up a little bit yeah uh, looking good then after that we we'll, what do you want to do now we we'll now go well, since it's the queen's party we we'll now go and carry our crown let's see if i have any crown i should have so I'll just check it out crown 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 so we'll go down down so somewhere there should be crown i've seen one crown yeah so this is the ladies i guess this is a ladies this is a lady crown yeah so let's see how this fit in so just want to crown The, that coin so you zoom in so as to make it fit in so it looks real Uh, something like this looking real so but we need to create a shadow so we'll duplicate we'll turn this into we'll use the levels on this the down one and we'll drag this to the extreme left hand side and okay then we'll bring it down a little bit to create that shadow effect so this is black so hope you get what I'm doing. So just use our blow. Gaussian blow is okay. So we just use it something like this, like this. Like this. Okay, this to ah, uh, I really should do. yeah so we cannot clean every other part that we don't want like this part so we don't want the shadow to reflect here which is doing already so we increase our opacity and change this to add the hardness to like 70 or 80 and we'll clean this part yeah 
so we can give our crown a little bit of levels to add some contrast to it clip max it then add levels like so yeah the queen's party night so what i want to do now is in a party we used to have what they call it let's look for an image that depicts let's look an image that depicts a party kind of groove so we'll just we we'll just go strolling because I don't want it to be empty like this. I don't want it to be empty like this. At least this portion, this up here, is kind of empty. So I don't want that. So let me look for a speaker. Probably a speaker. When I mean speaker, I don't mean guest speaker. I mean speaker, like audio speaker. So I'll just show. I should have some speakers. So just look for it. I can't find one. Okay, there are some here. So we we'll just look for one speaker or this. Which one should we use? This. Anyone you feel that is right, but there is I have a set of speakers here. Let me see. Speakers, yes, these are set of different speakers. So let me see the color blue background so let me see the one that will go on blue so we have gold right up so let's use the gold or this is the one that is facing like this kind of one should do so if you want me to send you the speaker pack you can just let me know in the comment section below so we'll just turn this one like this and drag it up and drag it up and drag it up like so so we just use our you know guess what motion blur yeah you get it right so our motion blur but not too much please yeah something like this looks good for me so i'll just take it up a little bit yeah so after that i'll just do what again yeah what else i'll just try to look at it carefully there's no much details on this if you want if we have more details we would have add more details to it but this location i felt is not supposed to be there so we are going to take our locations somewhere else probably by the side there so it looks more better somewhere here and definitely we are going to reduce the size because the size is too big so just apply yeah so something like this is good but i know you need to recentralize it so drag them like so so something like this but you get the whole point so what you want to do now is do some final adjustment you can add other effects but to me this is just a tutorial so i just felt that this should do so you can just add other effect like your photo filter you can add other elements to so let me use i'm looking for the blue photo effect here this should do for me yeah stuff like this so something like this is good for me so you can just so I don't know if you guys have learned something here. Yeah, I think we are good. So let me add levels to this. The general design. And yeah, so this vibrant should go up above everyone. Yeah. So I'll just what I want to do now is to add what do you call it i want to do a big net fill black then clean on this layer max clean on the layer max 
increase it a little bit yeah then remove your hardness increase your brush back then add like so like so then reduce the opacity to like 50 now something like this look nice but the only problem is that uh, this thing is being affected so just clean this so you can go ahead and add your dates your date is there you can go ahead and add your time somewhere here so i can just say my time is 9 pm prompt so 9 pm learning to put prompts so i'll just use my akira font for that so this is just a freestyle as i told you earlier so let me use white here so white here white here should do so i will reduce this spacing reduce the yeah take it to zero so that there will be space yeah then increase the size i want it to be profound so i'll just put it at this middle of this yeah something like this so this is looking good for me so it's perfect for me this is perfect for me so we are good like this so this is what we came up with if i want to carry my what they call it my what they call it my color bj which i always have here this is it i can just put it there also yeah and just change the blending mode to screen and i'll reduce the opacity so i'll just reduce the opacity and let me see if i bring it down if it will make sense yes making more sense so i'll increase the opacity a little bit yeah stuff like this then probably my lights like i can't do with this without this light anymore so i'm getting addicted to it so we'll just bring this down and put our light somewhere here yeah and change this to screen and change this to screen just increase the size so we can even change it to light dodge so guys that's the that's just what i wanted to do for this tutorial so thank you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel at azan adela this place we, we learn, we create, and we become. So this is our final work. I hope this helps. If it does help you, please let me know in the comment section so I can create more stuff like this. Thank you guys. See you guys later. Peace.